Hello friends, welcome to IELTS Success, where your achievement is my accomplishment. Once again, I'm here with another video on latest cue card to help you to attain 8 plus band in IELTS speaking. But first, if you do like my video, please like and subscribe my channel and share my videos along with your kith and kin to get further updates on my latest video. This will really motivate me and encourage me to make videos on the latest topics. So let's see our today's cue card. Describe a place where you read and write apart from your home. What is it? Where is it? And why do you go there to read and write? So let's see a sample answer for this particular cue card. So you must be wondering, what is the formula of getting eight plus band in speaking? It's quite simple. Along with fluency, you just need to use certain vocabulary which is lexical resources, along with few idioms or idiomatic phrases in speaking. These are some vocabulary and idioms which I have used in this cue card and I have also highlighted them in my sample answers for your reference. Even if you manage to use two or three idioms or idiomatic phrases, you can achieve a good ban in your speaking examination. No need to use entire vocabulary or entire idioms. These are just for your reference and use your original ideas. As I always say, to have an impressive answer, it's good to have one or two liner introduction for every cue card. So here is my take on this particular cue card. I must admit, for reading and writing, we certainly need harmony, concentration, along with a suitable environment. Well, just like other people, I have also studied at a myriad of places like home, school, library, at a friend's place, and many more. However, the second such place I'm comfortable studying after my home is a botanical garden, which is just around the corner of my house. I know it might sound unusual and strange, but believe me, I find this area full of positivity, which helps me in focusing on my reading and writing. I strongly reckon that a considerable amount of people favors library to study at, as it is one of the quietest places to concentrate on readings. Yet, I prefer this place due to its spectacular natural view and peaceful atmosphere, which helps me to dedicate some quality time to my studies. There is an interesting story behind me exploring this place at the corner of my city. Well, a couple of years I visited this place along with my family for a day outing and I found a miniature Buddha statue in a meditation position along with some handcrafted granite table and chairs around it. It motivated me to sit along with my novel. Perhaps I was least interested in roaming around. I was so engrossed in my book that I couldn't realize when it got dawn to dusk. I understand that the library offers extensive study materials and journals along with a calm and quiet atmosphere which encourages students to read peacefully. However, studying at the library was never my cup of tea. My grasping abilities are a little different from the crowd and I can't be too formal by sitting at one place in the library with a pin drop silence as it haunts me. Therefore, I have chosen this garden to either go in the morning or in the evening to read and write. This place really boosts my imagination and allows me to think creatively on any topic to write. In fact, I have written some poems and articles just sitting right there. I like the positive vibes of this lively and cheerful place where birds chirp and sound of the nature along with fountains soothes my mind and soul. Moreover, spending a day here studying my books makes my day complete. So friends, this is how you're going to prepare this cue card based on your personal scenario or whatever you like to talk about by using the lexical resources as well as the, as the idioms which I have used in this cue card. But please be mindful while using the idioms. It should go along with the cue card which you are talking about. Just randomly don't use any cue card just out of blue, just like ants in my pants or anything. So it should sound natural when you are talking. All right. Best of you. Best of luck for your examination. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any further query, Please contact me via email on the below email address which is ielspuddy4 at gmail.com or you can also leave your comment below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to get further update. Once again, 
Thank you and have a good day.